So they've been trying to get us to love Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk for the longest time. I mean, you know, Elon Musk goes on Joe Rogan and smokes a joint. Like he does all these things that are cool, you know, SpaceX and buys Twitter and free speech. And they, it seems like they really want us to love Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. So then they come out and say, oh, there's going to be a fight between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. And in my opinion, this was all set up from the very beginning. There's a team working behind it to get public favor on these guys' side. What do they do? What, what's one of the biggest things? Mixed martial arts, UFC. So then they come out and say, oh, oh, these guys are going to fight. And they get all this attention and everyone, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Team Elon. Oh, I'm Team Zuckerberg. You know what I mean? And so now they're getting all this attention. And, you know, in my opinion, they're just trying to, they're trying so hard to get us to love these guys. Um, so, you know, it'll be easy to plant a chip in our head. Um, whatever that thing e uh, uh, Elon Musk he wants to put you know um, what is it called that microchip neural link he, they want us to get the neural link they want to put us this chip in our brain and uh, so um, this is just a story that I don't think these guys are good people and they're trying to make them the public accept them as good people and Basically, it came out that Mark Zuckerberg spends $43 million on security, private security. Okay, he spends $43 million on security, but he wants to defund the police. Like $43 million for one person, but no police for the rest of the population. Like, that tells you right there, he's, he's, that's double standards, all right? People have double, double standards. Like, oh, for me, I get everything. I get... 43 million worth of security, okay? No one's going to come near me. No one's going to touch me. But for the rest of you guys, you know, the billions of you people, no, nah, you guys don't need anything. So he's not a good person. Elon Musk not a good person. He wants to put Neuralink in our brain, okay? He wants to do, he wants to tr make humans and machines merge, okay, which is not good. Okay, we, we, need to, we need to stay human. Thank you. I want to stay human. But anyway, I think a, a, a PR team, whatever, is in my opinion, they created this whole thing between, oh, Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg to bring attention. And it's working because, you know, everyone's talking about it. Oh, they're going to fight. Oh, oh, I'll train you. I'll train you. You got these big fighters coming out saying, oh, I'll train you. I'll train you. And now all of a sudden they're getting all this attention and people are starting to warm up to these guys. That's what they do. They've done it throughout history. When Rockefeller was hated, you know, John D. Rockefeller, everybody hated him because he was greedy, the same like these guys, you know, it was everything for him and nothing for anybody else. When, when if you just research it, back in the day, everybody hated him. And uh, I think it was um, Freud's, grand, Freud's grandson. Can't th I can't think of his name right now, but... Um, they call him the father of propaganda, and he came out with a way to get the public on John D. Rockefeller's side. And what he did was they started putting out all these newspapers, all these ads, all these um, you know billboards, you know, basically showing what a great person Rockefeller was. They showed him giving food to the hungry. They showed him giving money to these organizations. And what happened? People started to start warming up to him. Okay, but it, it had nothing to do with his true personality. It all had to do with the marketing and giving people the perception that he was a good guy. Okay, so in my opinion, that's what's going on right now and uh, with Zuckerberg and uh, Elon Musk. Okay, but when this article came out, I'm like, okay, right here, perfect opportunity to let people know 43 million for security for him you know, he wants to defund the police for everybody else. If you can't see what's going on here, then, uh, you know, I'm sorry for you. You know what I mean? Like, it's so obvious that they only care about themselves and the rest of us, they don't care about. But they want us to think that they care about us. Um, yeah. Yeah.